Overall price tag for a water lift station project in Terre Haute could increase by millions of dollars. It's because groundwater contamination halted the project earlier this year. Nicole Christine spoke with city engineer Brad Utes to find out the future steps in solving this contamination issue and resuming the project. Nicole. Mike, on Tuesday, the Terre Haute Board of Sanitary Commissioners approved funding for three companies to test and filter the groundwater at the site. The specific company has not yet been chosen, and costs are reportedly growing by the day. There's, um, you know, a lot of equipment sitting down there, you know, not doing anything right now. If you pass by the property of the Terre Haute Wastewater Utility Main Lift Station on Prairieton Road, you'll see a lot of equipment, but no progress on an unfinished excavation project. In the end, it's going to be about a 50-foot hole, so uh, there's a lot of dewatering that needs to happen in order to do that, and then in the process of the dewatering, we started getting uh, contaminated water coming out of our discharge. Director of Inspection Brad Utes says the project was then shut down, and the State Department of Environmental Management was contacted to help find the best solution. IDEM's public information officer sent our newsroom a statement regarding the issue, which reads in part, quote, IDEM's emergency response was called regarding dead fish in a stormwater holding pond. When IDEM ER staff investigated, they found pumps dewatering a large excavation project. The pumps were discharging water to the holding pond, which was overflowing into the Wabash River. You know, that's taken time. And then uh, trying to figure out what's in it, how to treat it, best way to treat it, and the, you know, the, the most economical option to treat it, which has turned out to be a challenge. That challenge, according to Utes, is estimated to cost a contracting company between twenty-five and thirty thousand dollars a day as the large crane sits inactive. Utes says the search for a company to help solve this issue has been narrowed down to three companies with a wide price range between them. It's anywhere from 2.3 million to five million dollars. That's such a big gap that we want to know you know, which one's the best? If we pick the $2.3 million one, is it really going to work? And do we have to go back to the drawing board? Uh, the $5 million one's one that we know will work. I mean, it's just, it's an old school method of doing this, but it's, but it's the most expensive. While no decision has been made yet, Ute says no one should be worried about further contamination to the water. I mean, right now, we've, we've shut everything down. We're not dewatering, so it's just in the ground. It was already in the ground, um, so it's not, it's not really affecting anything right now. Now, there's no timeline yet for when this project will resume and be completed. The project was originally budgeted at $54 million. Mike. All right. Thank you, Nicole, for ID.